She's a mortgage mom. Welcome to Mortgage Mom Radio. I'm going to put the exclamation point on mom because we got my mom here. Say hello. Well, hello, everybody. Can I get your name? My name is Debbie Marku. Nice to meet you, Debbie. Nice to meet you, Manny. I got some questions here for you today because you are on the hot seat today. It is my turn for the team highlight. It is. It is. It is your turn for the team highlight. So first question is, does Red Bull give you wings? Oh, Red Bull gives me wings when it is mixed with vodka. So we're going to stay away from that forever. Okay. All All right. right. Second question for you today. What is your favorite summertime activity? That would be boating. It'd be boating? That would be boating. All right. All right. You like you like launching the boat, I heard. I, I do like launching the boat, yes. Okay. If we can get air, it's all the better. Okay. Okay. And um, I heard you have something called a princess. I do. Can That's I, my car. Can I... What, what's, what's a princess? I need to know what, what kind of car is this? I have a Range Rover, and she's very beautiful, and her name is Princess. Okay. All right. Well... I'm going to bring Carrie to ask you some questions now on the hot seat. I will talk to you later. All right. Thank you, Manny. I love it. And I love that I'm giving you guys all the opportunity to ask me questions about me, not mortgage. So let's do this. (laughs) Hi, Debbie. Hi, Carrie. (laughs) Um, So my, I have a serious question here. Okay. Um, How do you balance work and life and kids and taking care of this whole team because I know that we're all kind of crazy. Yeah. Well, we're all moms. So crazy is an understatement. Um, So actually, I'm really very lucky to balance things with help, right? Uh, We all have to admit that we can't do everything ourselves. And I try to think that I can, but I absolutely cannot. So number one, if it wasn't for my husband, I would not be able to be here every single day doing what I'm doing, waking up in the morning, getting ready, walking out the door at a certain time, getting home at a certain time, dinner's ready, my clothes are washed. Like I can't, you know, and I've got a kid, a little kid at home being taken care of and I don't have to worry about him. So that opens me up to be able to help more people and help you guys and manage the office and manage the team. So if it wasn't number one for my husband, I would not be able to do what I do. Uh, Number two would be my assistant, Jenny, uh, in all honesty, if she wasn't also picking up the slack for the family. Uh, When I said earlier in her interview that she is paying my bills, paying the office bills, uh, she is taking care of the P&L, she is answering the phone, she is scheduling appointments. Again, I have learned, it took me a really, really long time, but I have learned that if I cannot delegate and I cannot trust and I cannot um, allow other people to help me that I can't do what I do. So thank you to all of you that are sitting back there. I know uh, Drew's going to pan out on the video, but if it wasn't for all of you guys and we are missing uh, two more from the team, we're missing Heidi and Tiffany, but if it wasn't for all of you guys and what you do, uh, I wouldn't be able to be me. So I agree. I think you're the one that talked to me into getting a nanny and a housekeeper. Yes, <laughs> you have to. I've got it's, I've got my Lucina that cleans the house yes. and cleans the office, and I've got you know you you just you you have to delegate. And the more that you do, and and it it's so scary uh, to think, oh my goodness, I'm going to bring on another bill. I'm going to bring on another expense. Uh, but uh, sometimes when you bring those expenses on, then you get to go to a whole new level. So. Um, you're getting you're getting the goods from me today. <laughs> oh, Cindy, here we go. I like it. That was a serious question. That wasn't that, was that wasn't as fun now. as Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, so I got a question for you. First of all, I love you. Thank Aww. you so much for having me a part of your team. It it means the world to me and I love everybody in this whole office and Tiffany and Heidi too. It's it's such a blessing to be a part of everything. Oh, thank you. And my question for you is if you did not do mortgages or maybe when you were younger, what was your dream job? What would you have wanted to do? Oh, that's a good one. Um, Actually, I wanted to be in uh, Skycam 5 on KTLA. I wanted to be a news reporter and um, I wanted to do... Uh, if you guys, I don't know, I'm probably dating myself, but there was Jennifer York in Skycam 5, if everybody yeah. remembers her. And she was doing uh, cartwheels down the runway when it was cloudy and she couldn't go up and she was you know, doing the news and doing the traffic and... Uh, I wanted to be a news reporter, so that was my dream job, um, but I had to figure out a way to pay for the good old uh, college and decided to jump into the real estate world with my parents, and here I am. So, you know, what I thought was going to get me through college turned into a career. Well, just for the record, I think you would have been way better than she ever was. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I could have definitely done better than Carwell's, that's yeah, for sure. definitely. <laughs> 
They're back there cooperating on a new, on another question. Okay, so everybody hears us say, we've been friends forever, but I don't really think anybody realizes how long we've been friends for. Yeah, it's been a long like, time. Like almost 40 years. <laughs> I'm going to date you for once. Um, but so I have a couple questions. So my first question is, who was the most influential person? Like, as far as I know you did real estate before lending, but getting you into lending, not real estate, because I know that's your parents. Mm -hmm. So I would say lending. So that would be my mom's fault as well. <laughs> um, so, you know, we we both uh, sold real estate. That's how we both started our careers. And after I had my first son, Manny, who had to ask me questions about Red Bull, um, I did not want to show property anymore on the weekends and in the evenings. And I didn't want to um, not have health insurance and I didn't want to worry about a 1099. <laughs> and, um, you know, I was living in Illinois at the time and I was just over it. It was cold. We had moved there, thought we were going to go to school. And my mom said, you just got to come back and you got to do real estate or you got, you know, you got to do loans. And I said, loans, <laughs> I can't do loans. And she's like, no, you have to do loans. I said, mom, I mean, this is being a real estate agent, yeah. right? I don't want to kiss realtor, but I'm not doing loans. No, you got to do loans. You don't have to work evenings. You don't have to work the weekends. I mean, if you do, you have a computer, it's at home, you're taking calls, you're writing pre-approval letters, but you're not sitting open houses. You're not putting people in your car. You're not, you know, so, it, and you've got your W-2 and you have your health insurance and you just, you got to get into mortgage if that's what you have to do. And I'm here and I said, oh, mom, oh, are you sure? She said, yeah, here, talk to my boss, Steve. So she throws Steve on the phone, who was my manager at Wells Fargo. And he gets on the phone and he says, hey, so what's your name? I said, I'm Debbie. And he said, you're Mary's daughter. And I said, I am. And he said, you're hired. <laughs> and I said, OK. And how long ago was that? Uh, that was in 2002. Long, 20 years ago. Yes. That's crazy. OK, last question. And this okay. is a fun one, depending on, on how you want it. So everybody knows that I glittered you on, you know, your sister and I were best friends growing up. You are like a sister to me. And every, you know, New Year's, we would glitter bomb you and throw you in the trash can. Correct. So every year. That. Every mm -hmm. year. So other than that, what is your favorite like childhood or other memory that you and I have? Ooh, we have a lot. I think honestly was probably you and Missy getting ready for the concerts. And really? oh, yes. And I would walk past the bathroom and the stench of the Aquanet <laughs> and the moose coming out of the bathroom was yeah. amazing. And then watching you guys for days buy jeans, cut jeans, throw jeans in the washing machine, get them to <laughs> get them to shred the right way from the cracks in oh, the yeah. jeans. And I remember my stepdad at the time, who was also the real estate agent, yep. him saying, um, yeah, <laughs> you aren't all wearing them jeans because we can see butt cheek. Um, so yeah, just watching you and Missy, honestly, like, you know, watching you two being my older sisters and having you guys to look up to going to Illinois, oh, yeah. um, making you, you know, understand what we did in the water over the boat, boat summers and, um, Leaches. swallowing, swallowing, um, yeah. wood, when you fell off and didn't let go of the rope and, you know, the leeches in the channel that you were like, there's no way I'm not getting in. Get in. We're California swimming. Girls don't like leeches. Yeah. So I think <laughs> honestly, I I, th I think, you know, those those are some pretty fun memories. But just having you around as one of the big sisters was awesome. Oh, thank you. I love you. Yeah. Love, love you, too. Love Jen's you, too. going to clear it out. All yeah. right. Here we go. Here we go, Jen. OK. First you got to talk into the you got to talk. In. OK. Talk into the mic, Jen. Talk into the mic. <laughs> First of all, I just want to thank you for the opportunity of working here. It's a blast. Awesome. You guys are all crazy. The fact that you can deal with me on a daily basis yeah, is pretty amazing. I love you for yes, that. Yes, I should get a bad. Because I, I am definitely pretty high strung. <laughs> a little bit. First question. So when we say, does Red Bull give you wings? Yeah. Take yeah. high strung and go higher. <laughs> First question. Okay. It's serious. Serious. Mortgage Mom Radio annual Havasu trip. Is it happening this year? Yes, it is happening this yes. year. 100%. I just it, wanted it on camera. Yes. <laughs> I had a blast last year. The Mortgage Mom Radio annual Havasu trip is happening this year. Hopefully more of the mortgage moms are going to come out for this year's event. But what I'm thinking is maybe we need to create an annual Mortgage Mom Radio regatta. Ooh. I'm all down for that. Wouldn't that be fun? So we'll, 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 we'll start talking that. We might not be able to make that happen until 2023, but... We're getting on that boat and we are flying. Yes. All right. Next question. Yes. I know you love California, but if you had to move in any other state and do mortgages, what state would it be and why? Kentucky. Dang. 
That's cool. Wow. Yeah. I would go to Kentucky. My husband thinks I'm nuts. Um, I just honestly, so I'm from Illinois, so I do understand the humidity. I understand, you know, the South. I mean, it, so Illinois is kind of interesting, right? Because it's in the middle, right? So it gets really cold in the winter, which I don't want anymore. So Kentucky, I think would be good for that. Um, it gets really hot, really humid in the summer, which is no different than going down South. Lots of farmland in Illinois, which Kentucky would have as well. I absolutely dream of the Kentucky Derby. I love horses. I want to ranch with horses. I want a stable. And um, I just, I think that acreage, razors, quads, horses, dogs. I mean, I got a 150 pound dog and I live in California. So I just, I don't know why. I just feel like Kentucky would probably be my, be my cup of tea. Let's hear about your children. I know your favorite is not Manny. Not Manny. <laughs> All right. So I have three kids. Uh, one is 21, one is 17, and one is six. The 21-year-old has had two open heart surgeries and definitely has a condition, health condition. Uh, the middle one has major, 17-year-old has major <clears throat> stomach condition. And the six-year-old is autistic. So when you say God gives you only what you can handle, let me just tell you, he ain't winning because I am. <laughs> Um, so no, it's, uh, it's been a challenge. I love them all for all different things. They've all had their own sweet. I mean, honestly, like me and Manny having to go through surgeries has been really helpful for me and him and our mom son relationship and me and Mikey, same thing. We've been in and out of the hospital a couple of times with him and that's our, you know, creates your bond. And, um, now him and the gaming and the mortgage mom radio and the streaming and the OBS and the YouTube and all that. So that gives me, gives me my thing with him. And then I've got Zeke, who's just the sweetest little thing in the whole world. And, you know, he's six and we're trying to get him to talk and we're trying to get him to potty trained. And it's, you know, it's a lot of work. It's, it's hard. You know, there's a lot of days you want to cry, but, um, what you get out of a child who is autistic is just absolutely mind blowing. It is so sweet and it is so, um, natural it's uh innocent innocent exactly i was trying to find the word it's so innocent and um something that is just an absolute blessing so it doesn't matter how hard it is every single day you wake up and he smiles and it's just the world so those are my three kids that's what i get every day and i love it if i could get one of them out of the house though um yeah it's he's he's 21 it's about time it's It's about time the 17 year old i don't know he's 17 he kind of smells uh, you know, a six year old, he could move out with dad. That'd be okay. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> none of them can leave. They're stuck with me forever. I love them. That's it. That's it. That's awesome. That's Thank you to Mortgage stuff. Mom Radio. Nice, uh, that was a great question. Pick up the phone and call mom. <laughs>